Okay, here we go. We're going to make a brand new VRTK using the alpha build before the public version 4 is released. So just make a new Unity project. Just has to be 2018.3 or later. It's going to be VRTK demo 3. I want it in this folder. Looks good. That. There's my folder. It's going to create the assets folder and all that within there. Um, while that is loading up, you'll want to make sure, here's my cheat sheet, uh, you'll want to make sure you have git for windows, which is going to allow you to run um, git bash um, emulation right there within windows, which is really handy. Pretty sure this version I, I went and downloaded. Um, inside of our folder here, inside of assets, yeah, I don't think it matters, it's not quite done there, but I'm going to run a git bash here. That's what installing that does. And that'll pull up this window. So I'm going to dock this there and my photo here to make sure that I have my cheat sheet available because I'm really not that good. Um, so I want to do a git clone recurse submodules github.com slash the stone fox vr2k dot git which you could go download that part from the uh, alpha branch however the part you can't do is going to be this next part um, that's going to create a vr2k folder in your um, this is an old one that I did but inside of your uh, assets folder we're going to jump into that VRTK folder and then um, we're going to check out the new branch from that. And then because we'll be in that new alpha branch instead of that, we don't want to be in the master branch. The master currently is 3.3 .3 or so. It's middle of February now um, and they haven't released the four yet. So we want to get into that alpha branch then get the submodules, which they just released. Uh, they're using Zinnia, uh, which I, quite frankly, I'm not sure what that does. Um, but I don't think I need to understand it. It's way above what I do. I'm a teacher. I'm just trying to figure out how to use this. So, Okay, looks like we're about done there. Um, you can see we have a folder there, VRTK. We want to go into that folder. Good. And if you, you don't have to do this, but if you check the branch, we're in the master. We don't want to be in the master. We want to be checking out the uh, slash v4.0.0 alpha. Maybe switch to new branch. Hey, that's good. Because now when we run this, get the submodules in it get submodule update it goes and gets the new Zinnia and all that stuff now that close this close this when you go back into your unity project you should now have not only VRTK in there but you'll also have the uh, necessary submodules that it that are uh, dependent or dependencies once that's all done I'm using an HTC Vive actually doesn't matter I'm gonna be using uh, uh, I need to go get Steam VR that done nope there it goes it's gonna say it should be showing something here shortly I'll probably go post this video into um, uh, the Slack channel there for VRTK because there's a lot of really helpful people in there that have helped me. And hopefully this helps someone. Still going. I love that it's a farm. <laughs> See, I grew up on a farm, so it's close to home for me. No, 
Okay, there's our V or TK. I still need to get from uh, uh, from the asset store the Steam VR plugin. That way, it'll interact with my Vive. There's that. And you'll notice this is version 2.2, which this VRTK uh, version 4 alpha is compatible with, which is awesome. Now this one will take a few minutes. Import. I'm taking everything. The bow and arrow, everything. It's kind of fun to play around with. You can shoot bow and arrow. Just using the Steam VR. Steam VR will show up down here in the bottom or in the assets. Once that's ready, then I'll open up my uh, VRTK demo uh, farm scene and test it out with my Vive I have sitting here. Floppy hand. I'm, I'm trying to read these as they go by. Longbow, that's a fun one. Squishy. Oh yeah, that's that thing you can squish in your hand. Joe Jeff. The glove. The audios. I guess I didn't need to really get all of these. Accept all. I made the right choice. All right, done with this. Now I have my Steam VR and my VRTK in here inside of VRTK samples, uh, scenes, farm scene. Open up the farm scene. There we go. Let's go ahead and play that. Got to launch the old Steam VR. It should auto launch that now. Steam VR successfully installed Open VR package. Good. Hey, there we go. And there we are on the farm, just like back home. There we go. Enjoy. <laughs> 